welcome to QWERTYCAST. Uh, how's all of my quarantine, I mean, uh, QWERTY birdies doing? I hope everyone is well. Everyone doing is home. Doing great. Quarant birdies. So oh, that was everyone that was is home, them. so everyone, that was to them. <laughs> everyone is home, so everyone is here. Mine is Dave, and also Stephen, I hope they're okay. Please, everyone, give me a yo. Yo. Ha! Oh, Elizabeth quarantine. Wow. <laughs> Andres. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Anyways, uh, just so our listeners know, we are here with Andres, uh, Joe, and Cam, and I am still Kenny, and we have a great show for you today. I hope everyone is staying safe and looking for some great games to play, because we compiled a couple that we are going to talk about to help you pass the time while you're stuck at home, but before we get to that... Uh, Andres and Cam have a little news for you guys. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Before we get to that, though, yeah. <laughs> we played a game today. That, yeah. Right you are, Ken. Right today you are. we played golf with friends. <laughs> right you let's, are, Cam. <laughs> let's talk about that. This has a long intro. So, can you tell me about Golf with Friends and why did you decide to play this game? Because it was an easy game and I can describe it easily. It's playing golf but on the computer <laughs> with your friends. It's a little more than it's a little more complicated. You well, think I it's take like Take it away, Kim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't you just talk about pulling up bios for games we're going to talk about? Yep. <laughs> so golf with friends is uh, is putt putt, right? But it's played uh, in the perspective of the golf ball. You can vary your aim, your power. You can curve it if you're skilled, like I'm not. Uh, and the fun uh, starts because everyone starts at the same time. Totally recommend yeah. turning on collision because that's how it's, the fun goes. And it's not turn based. It's not turn based. That's what that means. The same time. The same time. Simul- I mean, you can start at the <laughs> same time and still be turned it based. Turned it. That's true. Turned it. It would uh, be dumb, but you there's could. power ups too you can get. So certain power ups or debuffs you can apply to other people. Usually they're debuffed to yourself when you don't realize what they are. Like <laughs> uh, super jump, you just jump off the edge by accident. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah. Or acorn that gives you the power of an acorn, <laughs> <laughs> which does not roll that well. No. Oh yeah. Uh, we also picked this game because we had six people six. playing. That's true. Yeah, it was a good mm-hmm. party game. It was very chaotic. Yeah. And Steven Steven's fine and Dave is fine. They're both just doing something now. Uh, Steven was with us. Yeah. And, played, <laughs> and Gary played in Dave's stead. Is that the right? Is that is that how you say that? Stay? In his absence, maybe. In his steed. In his steed. In his uh, stood. I think it's the, the past term is stood. Uh, right, yes, and his stood. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Anyway, um, yeah, that was a really fun game. Uh, that's going to be on YouTube uh, at the time that this is released because I have nothing but time. Here's a little <laughs> clip from that game uh, just so you guys can hear it preemptively and some of the chaos that ensued. Woody, 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 woody. I'm Holy a- one! <laughs> Great. Can I hope you enjoyed nice. that? Just oh, you. Cam, nice. You saw that jump? Yeah, that was skillful to pay the bill. Billful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andreas. All right, guys, okay. I hope you enjoyed that. Wait. Oh, my God. Oh, God. oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> when that one thing happened and we were all like, whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 Ooh. And just in case you forgot, we have Joe here. Ah! Oh yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, but this is new. No, it's the same. I I realized what it was. It's the music starts a little sooner. Oh. But it will start properly. Oh, in the there end. we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah. That was funky. I like that. You hear that, I mean, Gary? That's, that's yeah. This we got funky music Gary. is funky. It's so funky. Um, this could totally be did, like uh, a level music for Donkey Kong Country. So probably what, is. 
why don't you tell us what you're playing on Twitch right now? Um, Joe? Twitcher? What? Uh, I, I, don't, I think I'm hearing shit. Whatever. Uh, I'm playing Animal Crossing because I have no idea what this series is about. So, uh, Oh, you got it. it. It's a capitalist yeah. adventure. You have, yeah, oh, like you're capitalist a, 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 <laughs> oh, you're playing, you're talking to the owl. He kind of scares me. I'm not going to lie. It looks like his cheeks are sewn on. Oh, it does. Like, I mean, they all look pretty felt like. That's true. Yeah, they are very all. Oh, I just want that little frog bitch to say as far away from me as she can. There, you know, it's it's a very cute game. Like the the colors are really pleasing to look at. Mm -hmm. I think it's like super jarring. I love that the oh. owl's chest looks like an argyle sweater with the checkered pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, I'm kind of not reading what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> I keep clicking A. Silly you. Just give him crap. <laughs> he wants you to Party get me, him. Roland? Fifteen. He wants six. you to give him your digits, baby. Yo, Yo give me them digits. He doesn't even cool. have digits. Well, how much? Can you tell us a little bit about Animal Crossing for anyone that doesn't know? Some of our we do have a couple of casual listeners. Only one. <laughs> to be frank, I have no idea. Still, I started this yesterday. This is my first time ever playing an Animal Crossing game. All I know is I pick up peaches sticks and i go fishing and that's all i pretty much know so far yeah. you're a peach guy huh <laughs> i don't know what this means for you. why do y'all hate me i'm oh. honest this, this would be my first animal crossing game i don't know if you guys ever played the other ones i have I never have. played animal crossing and this is animal crossing's <laughs> new horizons by the way on the switch yes yes sorry not an indie game but a <laughs> game nonetheless disgusting a, a findy game no. not an indie game or a pc game but it's a, a life simulation video game. So if you ever played The Sims, you would love this. You Times know, 10 probably. With our track record, I feel like at some point we should just like rebrand this podcast to be about the Switch because it's like 90% of what <laughs> well, we talk is, about. So well, the Switch is such a great like platform for indie It really games. is. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like the the nintendo has noticed just as we have how great indie games are and so it just happens to you know cross platform you know what sponsor let's us reach, nintendo yeah let's reach out to nintendo and be like hey <laughs> we'll talk more about you guys more than we now we're gonna stop talking do. <laughs> yeah more than we already do okay. we're gonna stop talking <laughs> and then we're gonna talk more if you pay us exactly anyways <laughs> anyways but yeah, Animal Crossing's New Horizons, uh, life simulation game, um, but everything is really cutesy and uh, bright, and it's just a happy time, and you just basically live in a capitalist society, but it's cute. You've probably mostly heard about it because people are playing it while in quarantine. True. Oh, Joe, I, I heard of um I heard of a, a trick when bashing rocks. Last thing I'll say about Animal Crossing. If you put, <laughs> put a fence around it. Or some no, put a fence or something behind you so that you don't bounce back. Something okay. to stop you from uh falling backwards so that you can just Oh bash. no, it's the frog. I'm running the fuck away from that bitch. Oh, Bye. The frog. Okay, let's get off Animal Crossing. Okay, that's enough about Animal Crossings. Uh let's move on. Right into the news, um, we're going to do a duo segment with Cam and Andres. Please take it away, guys, when you feel appropriate. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. I think uh, first I thing think we should talk about, actually. The first thing we should talk about, actually, is... <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought this was a duo segment. It is. Okay, okay, uh, sorry. Gonna... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I put my paper on the table. I'm tapping away. Uh, and, and back to you, Cam. All right. Thank you, Andres. Well, yeah. today, uh, out on the forecast and the internet, today we have seen this Steam Game Festival. It's the Spring Edition. It was from March 18th to the 23rd. Is going to be actually changing up a little bit for all the fact that, you know, everyone's in quarantine and social distancing where they're going to preview 40 different indie games uh and those are going to be free to play demos via steam where usually it was in person do you have any other info on that Andres? yeah cam yeah <laughs> main reason that the spring developers conference is so big for steam right now is that the well, 
What's what's this accent that's happening? <laughs> wait, I don't know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I have a Wisconsin one. Um. Oh, don't you know? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, well, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, don't you know? oh, sorry. Well, the uh, <laughs> game developer conference of 2020 uh, was actually canceled due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. I don't know where I'm going with this. You don't the, say. <laughs> That's weird because a couple of other things have been canceled, such as Google I.O. is completely canceled not just All right. bills. <laughs> can we circle back really quick okay can okay we, can we can <laughs> gary, gary can you throw in uh the clip of cam saying that this isn't a pandemic really quick <laughs> oh, from, from the, the last, last episode? episode yeah stop it you're not gonna die from this foolish uh they're making an epidemic when it's it's not foolish, foolish. so please don't be scared about that stuff <laughs> All right, it wasn't a pandemic until literally the next day. Okay. The day that we posted. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> um, wait, so let me just expand real quick on the point I made, is that uh, the spring Steam, um, what what did you call it? The uh, spring edition. Spring game. Of, yeah, Steam Game Festival Spring Edition. Which hopefully, if you were aware and are cool enough, you knew that it was happening during the time of this recording, which was between March 18th and the 23rd. Um, and the Game Developers Conference, which usually happens around the same time, got canceled, and that's why Steam took on so many more games and made themselves longer. Yeah, like one of the games I checked out earlier actually was Retrograde Arena. Mm. Uh, it was one of those like little um, neon light kind of style. It looks like you're looking through a TV uh cathode ray tube kind of thing with the lights going on Ooh. uh and it's just a nice little shooter you just play in, in uh top down view i don't know it's mm-hmm. kind of hard to describe i'm very bad at describing things <laughs> as Wait, everyone whoa, whoa. knows what was it called <laughs> it's called retrograde arena okay retrograde arena what is it about on steam okay basically you get the retrograde and arena. just shoot people so you can like play with the recoil of the gun. Uh, I think we played a similar game like it. It's a top down arena. This looks fun. It's yeah. a multiplayer twin slick brawler where bullets don't kill. Use weapons impact to push each other into the deadly environment. Play together with others and prove that you're the best of them all. Got to catch them all, Pokemon. Oh, and the art style very much follows. Oh damn! This the, was free. What is this? This, isn't, this is like. Kind of vapor wavy, right? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, this looks so much fun. Oh my god, this catalog of games looks really dope. Yeah, it's it's one that stuck out the most to me. I didn't really get to check out Chicory. a lot of the other ones. Welcome back. So I'm not as cool. As cool as a fool. <laughs> um. Well, uh, the Valve Corporation reported that steam hit all-time records in gamers online simultaneously uh at the day at the time of this recording they have as high as 22.5 million people on at once uh as of like those memes everyone's prepared for this already yeah literally true (laughs) so buy your friend steam games (laughs) no the best meme that i saw was uh like move over ten year olds, the OG gamers are coming back. <laughs> yeah, they're not working, so you're yeah. ducked. I enjoyed uh like the apocalypse outfit I thought I'd be wearing. Oh yeah. And then the one I'm actually wearing is just pajama pants. Mm-hmm. I have that's a good one. I have a green cape <laughs> and I've been watching Attack on Titan for the first time. Oh my god, I can't believe you've been watching that for the first time. I, the first I, time? Yeah, the first time. I've known all about it. I knew about a spoiler that I didn't realize was going to be revealed much quicker spoiler than warning. it was. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and so uh, it's it's so good. It's so well done, the first season. Um, I don't have to tell you. <laughs> um, and uh, point being, they wear those green capes. And I actually oh, yeah. own a green cape kind of like that. And I really want to perfect my, um, my... Putting your hand behind your back. Yeah. Well, no, I'm already perfecting <laughs> my jumping with my pelvis shooting forward. But um, <laughs> I really want to get my, uh, go on. my cosplay down so I can go outside and run around and be like, this is my apocalypse gear. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you should do. I hope you do that. <laughs> that exact forward. thing. With my yeah. apocalypse gear, <laughs> nobody can hurt me now. <laughs> Plus ultra. <laughs> 
I'm the scout. <laughs> Salute you. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> You're doing too much. There's, yeah, there was too much that just happened. <laughs> I'm a scout. Um, you can't hurt me. Uh, is uh is that is this is are we still in the news? What's happening? Here? We're still in the news. <laughs> the news is that we're a bunch of nerds and we. Because as we're talking about, Steam's hit an all time high, but there are other places that are hitting an all time low, such as oh, GameStop. Like what, Gary, Gary? insert an oh. <laughs> Oh no. no! Yeah, for the next for the next minute, Gary, it has to be. You have to insert audience reactions, <laughs> so, and then applause. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, Cam, keep talking, and then they'll react to your what your thing is. Yes. Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, this is all according to interest generated from Yelp. All right, you have breweries down sixty percent oh. over the past month however you have beer and wine and spirit stores generally going up by 60 percent. so i don't know how that works hmm. i mean uh, it's bad for the local breweries but uh, good for the companies that give sell the beer. beer yeah <laughs> i know you have child care going down amusement parks obviously going down uh but one thing that's truly american is guns going up by 360 percent in the past I have week that. america Mur- Wait, how much percent Three hundred and sixty percent interest. This is just That's interest. Scary. So this is probably this is based off search results in the actual that, app itself. Bro, that's crazy, man. Right? And I'm in the Pacific Northwest, so also hiking has gone up, but that's usually this time of the year Ooh. anyway. And we have fitness gear. Uh, there's been a huge influx of at-home fitness. That makes. I'm sense. sure you guys have noticed in your various social media apps the targeted ads. Uh, if they're not targeted, they're going to be basically at home fitness ad stuff. I have, have not gonna... noticed. I have not well... noticed either. And I think that says a lot about the demographic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get a lot of um, the comfiest way to fall asleep, uh, <laughs> the snackiest snacks. No. The snackiest of the <laughs> snacks. <laughs> What is your snackiest snack, Andres? What is my snackiest snack right now? Ooh, before, like when we were setting up to record, I was eating. Um, like pepperoni with crackers and pesto. Cause let me tell you, mine's a tall, dark Colombian. Until <laughs> oh, oh, wait, Kenny, you it went does. to go visit him? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, so a different Colombian. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, there are several platforms for all your at-home gaming needs. People are obviously getting takeout. Which in the past week has gone up dramatically. Yeah, I'm uh, surprised how many places are still open. Philly right now is like literally, literally locked down. Uh, everything's yeah, it's all locked down. Well, you uh, would it's think affecting local businesses though. People are still fucking going out though. It's crazy. Um, to bars? Yeah. Well, so um, my parents they live on Long Island. And all the people, in, like a lot of people in New York who own houses in Hamptons and shit like that, they actually went to their Hampton houses and those roads, those beach areas are just packed right now. The beaches, the public beaches are packed, bars are packed, main streets so, are packed. So really quick, it's safe to assume that there's not a ton of gaming news that's happening. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of real world this stuff is, happening This is right QWERTY now. Tangents. Cordy tangents. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, back. I will to, say, yeah, you first. Yeah, b- back to some gaming news. Uh, for all you at home gamists, which most of us are. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a terrible <laughs> word. <Gamists. laughs> you fucking gamists. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better than most adjectives. I've. Is that better uh, than e boys? Is g boys gamer boys? Is a uh, Microsoft <laughs> yeah, fucking g boy? <laughs> fucking g boy. <laughs> I can say. I will say Microsoft has a new streaming service that's coming out for Windows 10 PCs to stream Xbox games. Uh, I know Xbox isn't as cool with uh, indie games as Mm -hmm. Nintendo is, but there are still quite a couple things. Back to you, Andres. (laughs) Thanks, Cam. (laughs) Balls in my court. Um, <laughs> uh, there's also um, itch 
dot io i t c h dot i o which is a website is offering games to help you stay inside a collection of indie games curated by itch.io contributors on this page uh it i'm quoting them verbatim stopping the spread of covid19 is on all of us so make your time social distancing a little easier here's a collection of games from developers or uh, from yeah from developers who are offering special discounts to do what they can to help um so they act like it's self-imposed yeah keep going well i mean i'm just saying that there's like honestly even by the time that this episode's released which should be in a week or two there uh are always there are going to be a lot of things that are on sale and from people trying to like help out with uh you know everyone's trying to save money but also still trying to have fun um yeah. another site doing some uh smart promotion is uh gog.com have you guys heard of gog.com yeah oh yeah i've never fucking called it gog though God. <laughs> what, the, what the shit <laughs> uh, um so they're running, just keep moving <laughs> they're running a live list of free games for staying at you home. disgust me <laughs> <laughs> you ever say gog again i swear to god i swear to gog oh hi That's we nice. lose you there no i'm waiting because of the music okay well according to verizon <laughs> no joe come in cut him off no wait free games available at gog.com <laughs> joe ah! <laughs> Why oh, doesn't God. this owl bitch take fucking shells? Right, what do I do with these? Oh, he's running around. You have to get fossils. I love that you're running what? towards the sun. You know what? Actually, I think that might be one of the things about Animal Crossing I really like is that it looks like you're walking on a cylinder. Yo, don't yell at me for do I'm you mean a sphere? No. Is it a sphere? It always cell. looks like a cylinder when you're walking. It's definitely not rounded on the left and right. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have not played Animal Crossing, so I don't know. Yeah, it's like it's the like, world is a it's giant. It's like the little planet that Goku has to go to. What is that? Oh, oh I yeah, love that. That's a, that's a sphere. Yeah, but... But there's a cylinder. That way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so... Uh, uh, Joe, what are you doing right now? Uh, I just got done selling... Something? Nah, I just got done... Oh, fuck. I He's in up. Tom Nook's tent. What did you do? I'm just trying to clear my inventory by selling some crap. Uh, He's talking to Timmy. Timmy! Timmy! He's a tiny uh, raccoon for those who can't that, see. That, he doesn't understand that, uh, that. capitalism Venus like his, his dad does. I think he does. I think he was indoctrinated well, he literally pretty buys early. Everything. Oh, I see. How'd he go down forty? Well, whatever. whatever I don't buying, care. Give me, give me your money. You, it's probably like he probably sell capitalism. it for more. That's right, I mean, guys. Right. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go fishing. Fuck this. Bye. Go fishing, Joe. A, Have fun. Let me cool. go fish. Uh, oh, it, it is jump. very cylindrical. The... You know what I mean? While he's running. Oh, the yeah. beach looks so Ooh. pretty. It does. It looks very welcoming. Yeah, it and does. Inviting. I love that everything. Gold, it's like wooden table golden. mirror. Okay. Do you get nighttime or does it always look like sunset golden hour? It's always sunset for me because I stream late in the day. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. So it does actually Don't you change. run away from me, Mr. So the, fish. The time of day changes based on actual time of day yes yeah that's real time cool. real oh time. you bitch uh i know i talked about this last time uh i did not get the valve vr index Thanks, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye i'm still watching i did not uh, get it because it sold out before i could buy it again oh, really uh, because tomorrow, Half Life Alex comes out. Tomorrow, meaning March 23rd. A. Hey. Really? Yep. Dude, people are oh, going to be that's escaping. Because everyone, everyone's, it, it, Cause it, everyone's uh, trying to escape real reality. Yeah. I mean, I was trying to do that before everyone was told to stay home. So. <laughs> yeah. Before it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh, he captured the little fish. He captured a bisterling or something. What pod? Cool. And then so Cam is going to do the podcast game next that you had kind of had on mind. Yeah, he is. Okay. Hey.
All right, Cam. The fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, as you know, I'm a submariner, uh, and while we were underway, I played a game that I called Bilge D and D. Uh, you don't know what the bilge is, doesn't matter. But basically, mm-hmm. it was me with one die and my two other friends, and we went on a and d adventure. Improv 2, all we had was a pen and paper, and we just went from there. So, okay. prior to this podcast, we all rolled for stats using a random number generator. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Kenny, your stats Hi. are three dex, five strength, and one intelligence. <laughs> You said you wanted to be a rogue with an invisibility cloak. Yeah. Is this all Dude, correct? This is classic, classic stuff. Classic, classic stuff. This classic is right. this, Dinned. this is before I could, knew I could stray from the norm. <laughs> yeah. Amateur move. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Andres, you have four decks, two strength, three intelligence. Pew, you decided pew. to be a Hollywood elite with a, a pair baby. of sock and boppers. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, yeah, I think it's going to give you a plus two to your dexterity roll. Okay. I'm going to have six. <laughs> well, yes. when you use them. <laughs> okay. Joe, you uh, have decided to be the Hulk Hogan, but as a bard <laughs> with Macho Man Randy Savage. Yep. That's it. Okay. He's not a pet. He is. He, you're <laughs> holding him. <laughs> he is the weapon. Can. I think it's going to add you a plus four to your strength. Remember you Hell can. yes. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh my God. Wait, okay. that means when you use them, you strength 10. <laughs> yeah. So I'm using a random generator one through 10. You guys use your stats one through six. It's, it's okay. This is how we're going to do this. It's fine. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. So our young adventurers are wandering through the woods when they come across a tavern. They walk in and they see a man sleeping. He is obviously the hotel clerk. Uh, there's a bag of gold there and also two keys. You guys have been traveling for days. What do you do? Hmm. This place is not quite up to par with my Hollywood elite expectations. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's <laughs> definitely a tower. You guys have just tr- came in from the storm, okay? It was storming Who's outside. That voice? I'm wet and unhappy. Daddy! (laughs) So you could get a key to go get your own room, but the man is asleep. There's also a pile of gold over there. You can also just wake him up and pay him like a good, uh, lawful good guy. I don't know what you I put on my invisibility cloak. (laughs) Okay, can you invisible? Go ahead. I take the gold. You take the gold. Suddenly, a trap door opens up, and you guys fall through the hole. Twelve monkeys surround you in the dark. Daddy, no! <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it was a trap. Um, I... What is my That item? was weird. Did oh, I not see who did that? That trap hole just opened <laughs> on its own. I literally did not see how that happened. But I'm going to use my sock and boppers that were given to me for Christmas. And I'm going to have dexterity and hit all these monkeys really fast. <laughs> Listen, my intelligence may be one, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Christmas. Uh, Merry With Chrysler. a hard T. Merry, Cri- Merry Christmas. Okay, um, Andres, you're going to do a dex roll? Yeah, dex roll. For... Attack. You're only close enough to three monkeys to attack him, okay? Okay. So dex four? Dex four. Okay. And Let's I'm see. using my sock and boppers, though. Okay. Oh, sock and boppers. Okay. Yes. You got a five. Yes. All right. That's good. Good Good job. You okay. fucking nailed them. Ooh, Let's see how much five, damage you did. Five out of 20? <laughs> you did one damage. A. Four damage. So you killed one monkey. Good job. Oh. Two monkeys are injured and one's just straight up dead from a soccer One problem. less monkey <laughs> jumping, jumping on the bed. <laughs> I went up and killed his head. The other monkeys look at the dead monkey and get enraged. They link Ooh. arms. And they form a giant chain. I put my invisibility cloak on. <laughs> I, I prepare to call my agent. I don't think I'm going to be able to make the next movie, buddy. I'm sorry. Right, Andres, that's a one-turn delay for calling your agent. Oh, fuck. Uh, Kenny, you're invisible. Joe, what do you do? Some some macho music in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Music starts to play. The lights go even darker. Suddenly, (laughs) bam, smoke. Joe, Hulk Hogan Barr comes out holding Randy Savage by the ankles. (laughs) (laughs) There are three monkeys near you. (laughs) Swing them. Wait, what's what's the thing from Signs? Swing, Johnny! (laughs) Swing! Do you swing at these monkeys? (laughs) No, hello. I'm gonna fucking run away. What you want about? <laughs> Is there even a way to run? Watch me. Okay, so I have two people running? as one. I can do a bunch of shit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a uh, a dex roll for you. You, yeah, you get away. You, uh, what how bitch? do you how do you get away? You jump up, holding Randy Savage, and he grabs the ledge above you. And yeah, you he to grabs the out. ledge above, and oh get, my god! Get, However, yeah. the monkeys have chained together, and they're actually way bigger than you think. It's like Toy Story. That's what they're oh doing. Oh my right god! Now. They're unionizing. They pull you back down, <laughs> <laughs> and you take two damage. Again. Yeah, yeah, you, you're back in the hole with the monkeys. Okay. One fell okay, off Kenny? and bumped his head. Kenny, as a rogue, you're usually faster than everyone, so it's your turn. You're invisible right now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I I sit and wait for someone to get close to me. <laughs> <laughs> you're one okay. of them sit and wait guys. It may or may not you? happen, so it's a win-win for me. Let me describe this to you right now. The monkeys are 11 monkeys tall right now. They just okay. threw down Joe, so there's like one monkey holding the bearing the weight of everyone. You're about okay. 10 feet away from them. All okay. okay. I, I, I just I just yell at him and just it's it's just it's just something like, Hey you'll never find me. Oh god, so loud. <laughs> the third monkey gets very confused and he gets angry at this. He looks around wondering what's going on. Can I suggest that I grab onto Macho Man Randy Savage's arms and then we like knock out somehow we knock out uh, oh let's sweep and knock out their legs the bottom monkey's legs you can do a combo move with randy savage C- can we yeah can we roll for it yeah but you're still on the phone with your agent oh, you're gonna fuck. put him on hold so i'm just telling him this like it's an idea for a new script <laughs> okay <laughs> all right, I guess so I'll, yeah i'll put him on hold i put i put my agent on hold all right wait one second roger hey um uh macho man whatever your name is wrestler guy how about we take the other <laughs> side of, you know, and then sweep his legs? No. <laughs> I tried, Roger. I really tried. I swear to God. Just fuck okay. the Hollywood elite. Fuck you. You deserve to die. I mean, I don't disagree. All right, it's, it's the monkey's turn. Uh, the top oh. half, the top six jump off now. And the other five break apart. That third monkey is really angry at you, Kenny. He's he's just starting to throw poop everywhere to find you. Ew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're gonna Sorry. do a dex roll for you, everyone. Everyone, take a dex roll. I'll do that for you. Better okay. clean that cloak. Uh, let's see. Kenny, you rolled a three. Dex three. Invisible to the cloak, though. You're pretty good. Andres, you are fine for five. Mm. Uh, Joe, you just got hit by poopy. So, <laughs> that's fine. You're old at two. And you're taking. Fine. You're taking one damage. Wow, that's that's a, it. That's it. And you cannot thing. go invisible. I don't think that's your thing, though. Okay, <laughs> you've, Kenny. You've, you've so there, there are of three groups of monkeys right now. Right? There's that one throwing poop. Yeah. There's the other stack of four, and there's the other stack of six. All right, I take uh, I take Andres's phone and I throw it at the monkey who th- was throwing poop. Wait, <laughs> I haven't stopped paying off the minutes. Okay, let's do a dex roll again. You got a four. What's your dexterity, Kenny? Three. Nice. Okay, okay. Well, that monkey who's throwing poop is pretty occupied, so he's not gonna dodge pretty well. Let's see. Let's we'll see what hey. you got. Hey. Oh, a critical hit, Kenny. Ooh. Yes. Describe what happens. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I, I take uh, the phone out of Andres's hands, and he's uh, he, he doesn't see me because I'm invisible. What's uh, and happening? then I, so he just sees this floating phone. Just this isn't fair. 
get thrown <laughs> across the room and hit this Why? monkey square in the face. It explodes into a billion pieces and uh, poop? Un- inexplicably electricity flies out of the phone as well and hits the monkey. Okay. I was containing the god Thor of thunder in that phone. <laughs> you Are fool. you saying Thor has just come out? <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> Thor emerges from my cell phone. It was a two billion year old capture curse that was forward thinking enough to look like a cell phone of 2020. Unfortunately, it was Thor as like, he's just an actor and he's holding a sock and bottoms uh, hammer. So he's oh not as strong as you think. But he's my perfect pair, and I'm in love with him. Okay. He's going to have the same stats as you, Andres. Okay, cool. So you have a pet now. I have a you're welcome. <laughs> oh, I have a boy I, I toy. shout you're welcome at, uh, uh, at Andres. You're welcome. Thanks, you boo. All right, Andres, what are you going to do now? I said boo because he's, he's a ghost and I can't see him. Um, I am going to uh, I'm gonna make out with my new boyfriend. I roll for that. <laughs> I mean, right, if so I'm gonna die with your with your new boyfriend, three monkeys what? cheer in a in celebration of this love. Two monkeys leave in, in disgust because they're bigots. So there are <laughs> <laughs> there are now nine monkeys left. Three but, right now are but three of them support me. What yeah, happened to the monkey that I threw the cell phone at? Is he dead? Oh yeah, he's totally dead. Sorry. Oh cool, cool. So there's eight monkeys left. <laughs> All Eight monkeys, fought three three allies, uh, four yas queens. So remember, there's still a there's a stack of three that started chanting. There's a stack of six still, just kind of towering over you guys. Joe, it's your turn. Uh, what? <laughs> How many monkeys are left? Eight. There are three preoccupied, and there are actually yeah, there are three preoccupied and five left. It's a stack of five. All right, I'm gonna take Macho Man Randy Savage. By his fucking cankles and yeet them at him. Yeet them at <laughs> there you go. All right. Ye- yeet them. All right. As a strength and a dex roll. And because uh, I'm like plus you are, of my, yeah. Yeah, like 10. Yeah, no, you, you got a, you got a non natural critical hit there. Non natural. <laughs> <laughs> For how strong everything is. Let's see your dex roll though. A nine. Wow. You straight up hit them. All right, do well, you want to describe this? Or... What is Randy Savage going to do when he hits these stack of five monkeys? Fucking do what he does best, hello? <laughs> just fuck some people Yell up. Yell his name out. I don't, I don't know just... wrestling, by the way. It was just the first two things that came to mind. <laughs> he's, the one they, is... he's the one they hey, call The Rock, brother. right? Hey, oh, yeah, brother. It's time to fuck some shit up. Oh, so that's see, the kinda... Frosted Flakes guy. <laughs> That's Tony the Tiger, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Tony, macho man Tony the Tiger. He, uh, Randy Savage just flexes and then a pyrotechnics explodes in the area, igniting three of these monkeys for <laughs> uh, two damage, okay? Oh. And then Randy Savage also continues and rips the other one in half, so there are seven monkeys left. The three that were entranced by the celebration of love are no longer there. Uh, they're no longer entranced. And there are they four monkeys that are going to attack you guys. Okay. So, Kenny, now that they see you and they want revenge for their electrocuted brother. They oh, are... I'm not invincible anymore? No. Oh, you can't, you can't okay. keep shouting and stay invisible. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you're wearing the cloak already. You keep saying, I'm invisible. <laughs> They are gonna. What do you mean? <laughs> so the three monk, so three of the monkeys. So one of them just anchors a point, and they the other three are start running around him, and then faster and faster they spin, and that one monkey gets thrown straight at you. Well, snap. Yep. Uh. So we're gonna take a dex roll for you again, and you got an eight. Good job, Kenny. Nice. Nice. You sidestep this monkey, and it splats into the wall taking Ooh. six damage it is straight up dead nice so what's left on the field okay so there are i think five monkeys total left and they are stacked no no they're no. separated separate okay are any of them close to each other there there are three close to each other yeah 
All right. I, um, uh, Thor hey, and I, uh, God of Thunder, <laughs> uh, Hammer Dick, run up to the three that are stacked next to each other, and we, like, sandwich them. I sock em boppers from the left. He flanks them from the right with his sock em boppers. Okay. Let's do an intelligence roll and a <clears throat> strength roll for you. It says okay. his character like a complete idiot. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know what mine is. Yeah, I hired is... I hired myself for exposure. So uh, you got a seven okay. for your intelligence and a critical failure for your strength. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you guys run up in beautiful execution fashion. You're like two little ninjas with your hands behind you. Beautiful, all right? right? Two, uh, beautiful execution fashion. Whatever Perfect. that means. You guys are running with your hands behind you, sock and boppers inflated. And you run up and you just hear a little squeak. Believe it. When you guys punch him. The monkeys laugh at you. And then I go, and scene. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my two-man show. This has been an exhibit of sock and boppers. It's effect on us and the media. If you'd like to have a program, they're actually available at the entrance. You guys can leave through there. Um, and we'll be over here. This is the backstage. You got you, all you monkeys I take have my to turn. go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to lead them out. It was as, hard. And as as Andres is distracting them, I walk up <laughs> and please the I, bathrooms uh, to the right, back in the right, the right. And I, I, I just I just grab grab him one of the distracted ones by the head and just just twist. I just Jesus twist. Christ! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Okay, you killed him, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why'd you just twist? You could have stabbed him. You could have done anything. What the fuck is this podcast? <laughs> Wait, so, so like, all the monkeys are leaving and somebody just gets their head twisted off. They were gonna leave. They were being just, like, walked out by Andres right here. <laughs> Okay. So obviously, that's not that silent. <laughs> so one I, I monkey do the, I, I, turns I, I, like, I point. I point at my eyes, and then I point at the two monkeys that are left, and I'm like, "You're next." <laughs> Acting. Super dramatic. Like, dun, dun. yeah. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> put that. Put that in, Gary. <laughs> God. Okay, guys. Uh. Well, the one monkey that was still walking out, because the other two heard the snap of the other monkey's <laughs> neck, right, uh, showed Andres the way on how to get out of there. There's just steps, and it's a well-lit corridor. You, I don't know how you guys didn't notice it before. So uh, you, you want to you wanna keep fighting the defense, last two monkeys? Or? In my defense, I'm an idiot, so. <laughs> um, uh, I So Kenny is facing two monkeys, and I'm at the stairs. Where's Roland? Where's Joe? Yeah, it's... <laughs> Wait, what, what did you say, Cam? You broke up. Oh, um, I mean, those two monkeys are terrified. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, terrified. you guys can probably walk out. You don't have to kill them. Yeah, you don't have to. No, no, we ha- we can. If we can, we will. My turn. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna pick up the man, Randy Savage, again, <laughs> and we're gonna do some like wheel of death bullshit towards the last two and just slam into him to kill him. Okay. Uh, you rolled a uh, one. I, I, Fuck. I, okay. <laughs> I mean, pl- <laughs> one plus ten, so six. I'm not ten. Uh, f- uh, f- 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 fuck numbers, math. I quit. I'm going home. <laughs> Is that you guys in, in gently game? roll past them, kind of <laughs> giggling to each other because you're having too much fun. <laughs> It's all part of the game. <laughs> the monkeys are very terrified now. They're like even more terrified. <laughs> How many are left? Three? Two. There's two, <laughs> two left. Yeah. You ever snapped the neck walked. of the other one? <laughs> what the fuck is this podcast turned into? Whose two turn is it? <laughs> it's your turn, Kenny. Oh. I, I I kill the last one. I, <laughs> I, I stick my hands into his eyes. Oh. <laughs> I yank him out. And then I... Th- into his eyes, and then, and then if that's successful, I have a follow-up move. Oh, it's a nine. You got a nine. Okay, 
And then I turn to the last one and I say, remember what you saw here. <laughs> that monkey just runs. <laughs> you guys uh, walk up to where the sleepy man was and he just says, what the fuck? <laughs> and he gives you your keys. And that was, uh, and you guys go to your room. And you got to think about what you did, Kenny. <laughs> and that was this chapter of Cordy Cast on Adventure. This was I love it. Yeah. Reminder: social distancing. Stay in your room. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. Yeah. <laughs> I just I passed it. Kenny, you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was literally just like, I was Listen, like, I was everyone like, leave, and you're like, okay, it's my turn. I snap a neck. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was playing to the like strong idiot. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? I feel like in if somebody ever animates this, it'll be like. My character is like, uh, and like, <laughs> like drawn differently than yours. Yours like a classic DD character. Mine's a random actor. It's like <laughs> being way too serious for the part. He thinks oh, it's all man. just a game to him. Yeah, okay. it's, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna give this uh, one more check in with Joe. Hi. <laughs> See you. How that's going, Joe? Why don't you tell us? Like Why is placing shit in this game so fucking annoying? I do so. agree with that. Like, holy yeah. shit, I just want to put these fucking log sticks down. Wait, show, show me again. Place item. You did it. Yeah, but there's like, there's no way to like, really show where you're gonna put it. It doesn't have like, uh, it doesn't show you like a little circle of where it's gonna land. Nope. Do people kind of like, mess around with that and like, glitch the game out? I don't really know. Can you place it in the water? No. Oh, Can let's find out. Can you place it on a boat? Can you place it on a rope? Let's find out. He's running on the beach. He's at the no. water. He's picking up. He's There's, no There's no room for you to put, put it. I'm going to sell my fossils with my axe. Yes. Dun, and dun, by dun, that, dun. you mean like you're going to say, give me money? No, I'm going to come and in here and hold your axe up. murder this, I don't know, raccoon? I don't know what this thing is. This is a raccoon or a fox. That's a raccoon. Like it's a, a raccoon. Oh, hey, it's a, child. No, or in no, front of his kid? No, no, it's a, the raccoon eyes. It's a tanuki. What the fuck's a tanuki? Oh. You don't know what tanuki is? No. Hey, haven't you ever played Mario when he wears a tanuki suit? Wait, where did he get those? Um, what? Those fossils. Yeah, those are fossils. Wait, where did Why you get what? The Mario the tanuki suit? While we were playing suit? D&D, I was exploring and I found fossils. Oh, cool. Fossils. Fossils. 460 uh, bells for three fossils. Sure. Can you not do anything else with those fossils? Uh, I already have a species type. I need different ones. Is it like Pokemon where you can bring something back to life? I don't know. I thought you were supposed to... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm i still torn. I like. I feel like this game is going to be good, but I just need to... I need to buy it either now or not at all because I, I feel like... I just recommend doing it. It's a very casual Wait, no. Game. I want to go back in. <clears throat> I want more shit for my home. But I also, like, don't have to. Yo, I kind of wish I could move my home. I don't like where it is. Where is your home? Show us your home. Okay, I'll show you my home. Mm -hmm. Let me well, we can't on. see it. Well, please hold. Actually, I want to do something. No, I mean, like, the viewer, the listener can't see it. I keep I saying viewer. Well, I was going to describe it. I was gonna please, be like, please hold. I need to do some shopping. And the top. Okay, we'll check back in with you. Literally, give me, like, <laughs> two minutes. Okay, okay never mind. We'll, There's nothing we'll of value back. here. We'll check back in in two minutes. I'm walking home. <laughs> in, the, in the meantime. <laughs> guys, uh, this has been a very weird formula for this podcast today, but why don't you guys tell me how you are, and we'll talk about games that we recommend, and games that we've been playing, and just things that we've been doing whilst quarantined. Looks like Joe's at his house. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, yeah, quarantine, quarantine, 19, 2020. It has been very weird. Um, I've just been playing a lot of Wizard of Legend, which I've told you guys about before. Uh, yeah. and they had released, uh, the, one of the last DLCs that they, they're gonna put in. Or not oh, DLC, yeah, because... And then, um, which was like the electric bosses. But then... Uh, enter the Gungeons, Exit the Gungeon, which I did bring up in a past podcast episode uh, released, and you can play it on the Switch as per Cam's suggestion. 
um, or if it was Joe, I can't remember. And then, um, I need to play that as well. I don't know what else, I don't know what I'm, like, looking forward to. Like, I've been so busy with work, doing IT stuff, it's been, ugh. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, you still get your job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, thank God you have a job. <laughs> yeah, true. It's just, like, very, uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm very, very lucky that I have uh, steady income right now. It's just, as you can imagine, anyone with a job right now is literally like overworked. Mm. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah. So it's like kind of extremes on both ends. I'm not, you know, it's still a privilege and whatever, but um, it's, it's next this upcoming week is gonna fucking suck. So <laughs> be safe, have fun. Thank you. I believe in you, man. Uh. <clears throat> Cam, what about you? Uh, I, I didn't tell anyone. Oh, excuse me. But I got in a car accident last weekend. Oh! oh <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. Oh, it was a good time. It was totally my fault. Uh, <laughs> That's the spirit. Therefore, I, I, I got to buy I, a brand new used car. You did tell me you <laughs> bought a new car, but I did not know that was why. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the only reason why. I was going to run my other car to death if I could. Well, you did. What, what happened? Uh, I was driving, as I do. Yeah. And then I saw my turn, and I was like, "You need to take that turn." And then I didn't take the turn right away. And my mind was like, "You can take it now, with the still." Oof. And I didn't. And then I did. <laughs> Into the hill. Okay. Ooh. Oh. You mean the I hill, told... like the thing in between the two roads, like the median thingy? No, like the uh, the hill on the opposite side of the road. Yeah, I totally totaled this car. Damn. Did you, like, fly off the road, or I'm confused? It wasn't that much. It was just, like, I smacked the front end, destroyed the radiator, and destroyed the front bumper. And the car wasn't worth a lot, so... Gotcha. The repair value was lower, or it was pretty much the value of the car, so they just considered it totaled. And I actually got more than I would have if I tried selling it, so it kind of worked out. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, same please. This is, uh, yeah. I was just gonna say this isn't the first time that I've heard something like that where something similar sort of happened. What do you mean? <laughs> are, you, are you hinting that did did I do something before? I don't remember. <laughs> In college. Yeah, you got amnesia. Remember with with, with the uh, fire hydrant. You have my we don't talk now. about that. You have my tissue <laughs> now. No, no, too late. <laughs> do you want to tell it, Cam, or do you want <clears> No, nah, go ahead, Kenny, go ahead. You, you go ahead and talk about it. <laughs> I forgot about this. This it's explains actually, a lot. It's actually so funny. Um, so we were going, we were going down, uh, coming across the Spring Garden Bridge in Philadelphia um, and you know. going into Powelton Village. And at one point, that street that we're on turns into a one-way street going the opposite way and so we we cross oh, the light and i'm, I'm no. like camp one way one way and he's like oh shit and like panic like turns to like like really quickly maneuver and like turn around so he pulls up like kind of close to a fire hydrant it's fine and the but then when he backs out he just backs out right into the fire uh. hydrant like the front <laughs> side of it gets hit by the fire hydrant and oh, we're just even like, the same side yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we we're just like, oh shit. And here's the kicker. It was not our car. We were borrowing a friend's car. Oh. Um, and so we we text him. We text our friend and we're like, so we kind of got into an accident. And he's like, what? And he calls us and he's like, this is the kind of thing you do a phone call for. Uh-huh. And uh, he's not wrong. Um, and then we, <laughs> don't, don't make him seem like the bad guy here. No, no, no. He, he's <laughs> he was totally what is in his, the right. What does his first name rhyme with? I honestly forget. Damn. Oh my god. I'm wondering if I. We, we're not gonna use is. names. We're not gonna use names. <clears throat> All right. In case it comes back to haunt me. Yeah, yeah you're totally. I've totally blinked on it now. Oh. But uh, we we meet him at uh, one of the Drexel garages, and we're like. He's like, well, what happened? And we were like, yeah, someone, uh, <laughs> someone hit us, uh, and hit, they ran. Oh my god! It was, 
it was wild and he was like oh yeah well like what exit were you guys on and we're, we just looked at each other we were like one <laughs> no <laughs> and it, and then he goes oh yeah that's a bad exit <laughs> oh my god that's a bad i think Chaotic actually evil. is that the one near plymouth meeting <laughs> or you don't yeah know. actually a bad exit so yeah, that car also wasn't right. was worth like a thousand dollars at the time I remember this. He told me how much the car is actually worth, and I did give him some money. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it was just like cosmetic damage and a little bit of and a bumper damage to it. It was not sold at all. In case anyone thinks I'm that much of a bad guy, he is. Um, I'm bad. <laughs> I am. Oh, <laughs> only twenty five percent bad. Yeah. Oh, the number yeah. the numbers are coming in. It looks like all Cordy Cats listeners think you're a bad guy. <laughs> Right you are. Okay. <laughs> Back to you, Cam. <laughs> this has all been part of the QWERTY news segment and oh scene. God. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. <clears throat> um, uh, besides buying a new car, though, I've also been playing Black Mesa. I don't know if you guys oh, know about cool. that. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about that. Uh, 1.0 release, finally. It was originally... Do you recommend it? I do. What I recommend this? this game. It's uh, the Half-Life the first game but like revamped into the like a better source engine and it was originally a mod like a bunch of modders just doing it as a passion project Mm -hmm. and they finally like got permission redid all this new stuff and it looks fantastic and it plays really well if you want to relive half-life and it is unforgiving and i remember how bad i actually was so the biggest the biggest sell of it though is so if you ever if you ever played the original Half Life you guys ever played it yes okay well if you remember yes. how bad the alien world looked like no no okay it it's it looks pretty bad I'll be honest if okay. you look at it now compared to like the facility you're in that like it looks pretty fine but like you go to that alien world and everything's like the same textures it's kind of shitty looking yeah. Uh, but in this game, Black Mesa, they like really took their time to up that whole area, and it just looks mm. fantastic. Yeah, like nice. I, I totally recommend it. How much is it? Uh, I think it's twenty. That's not bad. Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking it up right now. Twenty yeah, dollars. So Crowbar cool. Collective, develop and publish it. And is overwhelmingly positive. Wait, Over so it's not Valve? It's not. This is a passion project. It's like a oh. mod. Oh. Yeah. They redid everything. I thought you said it began as a mod, but then it got to like accept it as a real thing. Yeah, I got a green light. And it, like they're going to sell it now. Because it, it took a lot of time for them, obviously. Yeah. This is like in the making for years. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I felt like I've heard about this before now but i also heard about it again recently so right now yeah. you mean that explains that yeah well <laughs> no bef- even before kevin talked about it i was like oh black mesa <clears throat> is that a new game and i was like i feel like i heard it. anyways yeah um joe hey. how's uh how's tell us about your life um it's all right like fucking quarantine is a glorious thing and i'm bored mm. out of my mind all day Nice. Yeah, although, fuck the quarantine rules, I I still go out. That's not good. (laughs) Yeah, people are definitely still going out. See, I have my own personal opinion about it, and I won't put it out here, obviously. But my opinion about the entire thing is a whole whole fiasco. So, yeah. Although, I still don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. In Uh, In life? Sure, I guess. I'm just running around catching fish. <laughs> nah. Oh, yep. and, yeah. That's what you do. Yo, you want to give me some money? I think those are the two <laughs> things that you're going to want to learn to do in real life, though, is ask catch people fish. to give you some money and catch fish, yes. I keep but don't catfish fucking... anyone. Yeah, but don't catfish. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me before, fun fact. Oh, no. Yep. You want to... I catfish people but the opposite way because i take uh, very bad photos and they're like wow you're that ugly I'm glad you don't look like the photo i'm like thanks 
That's awesome. I take better photos than what Good I look problems. like. I feel that. I think I, I've, <laughs> from virtualizing my life, I have noticed that I am uh, very cute through a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been like, I just catch myself and I'm like, oh, oh hey. Brag, so I'm digging hey, that. Hey, who's that cutie? Uh, who's that cutie? Hey, cutie. I put, often I put the camera on the on the second uh, monitor sometimes, so I'm like looking at one monitor, and then I'm like, oh, who's on my screen? Oh, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Did I leave Pornhub up? Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Uh, I heard that there was an increase <laughs> in coronavirus searches on porn. Oh, Jesus Christ. No way. What the fuck yep. is wrong with people? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to well. search it right now. <laughs> yeah. I am I am curious now. Yeah, uh, you've piqued my interest. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's going to be. Oh. Oh, my. Hey. 90% head, 10% shaft. One <laughs> percent <Okay. 1% gasps> hot gas. I want to sell. Uh, uh, so yeah, what are you about to, Kenny? Uh, yeah, Kenny, tell us about you. Yeah, Kenneth. I, I, I have, um, uh, I, I, I was got, I got pretty lucky because right before everything shut down, I had a gig for. Three days, uh, and that's gonna pay my rent, uh, probably for next month. Nice. Um, and uh, and food and bills and stuff, obviously. Um, and then I shot a short film that following weekend, and then this past weekend I uh, hosted live in the living room. Mm-hmm. Uh. Uh, live because we're doing like the quarantine edition so we did a really like s- broken down show so there was no audience um the crew was literally just the roommates and one other person from outside mm-hmm. and uh, a future roommate actually jeremy Baramy. Mm-hmm. Nice. and uh we had each artist come in one at a time and that's and obviously we just like wiped down everything super super well and you know people wear gloves and uh you know and no one touched anyone else's stuff like don't like if anyone was handling something it was with gloves or the person who owned it handled it um so yeah we we took it really safely and we had a really good show and we even had another dp in atlanta that uh was interested in creating a doc about how the coronavirus has affected uh people's lives so he's following a chef and he decided to check out our show to see how it affected us as well so that was cool um but it's been kind of kind of hectic uh despite you know still being at home because kind of like joe this is pretty standard for me um but i still have like editing to do and i had all Mm. of that work to prep for um, but now that that's done, hopefully I can relax and game more and finish up those edits and just, <laughs> you know, uh, relaxed with uh, my girlfriend. Yay. 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 I have no form of an income currently. Yep. Literally, I just stream all day. And that's it. Go support Joe. Pay him. Give him money. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Money, it's... please. My uh, my boyfriend is also out of the job right now <clears throat> because of um uh restaurants not being open. They said uh they will open back up on the twenty seventh when they close, which was only because of the governor's order, like last Tuesday. And um, you know, they're de- obviously definitely not going to open back up on the twenty seventh. Uh, so it's just I hate when it's also management that it's just very terribly done. True. Um. Also, game recommendations, really quick. Let's talk <laughs> about. Uh, what do you guys recommend people play while in whilst in quarantine that whilst. maybe we haven't talked about it? Spellbreak. Happy. 
<laughs> spell break, definitely. Oh, what was yours, so Andres? I said sad or happy. Sad or happy what? Game? Games? Yeah. I mean, you can Animal do Crossing, like, you can, happy yeah. game. Doom, sad game. No, <laughs> no, opposite. <laughs> opposite, thank you. Fucking nah. Doom, happy game. Happy Animal Crossing, game. happier game. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. <laughs> don't don't, Ori- don't, don't throw the Doom under the table like or... that. No, nah, they did nothing to you. Can I? Um, I think it's Ori and the Will of the Wisp or something. Yes. Spellbreak, re- Spellbreak really quick. Other. Spellbreak really quick is... Uh, uh, battle royale, but with magic. It's yeah, fucking. It bad. It, it's a lot more than that. I'd say it, it's it, it's, it's chaos. Basic. It is anarchy. It is <laughs> fucking insanely fun. Like by yourself, okay. There's times where it's like this game isn't fun, but if you're playing with people, holy fuck, you're gonna do some dumb shit. Like check out nice. the clips I have on my channel, and you'd realize, yo, this game is bonkers. Where the fuck am I going? I need more rocks to break. <laughs> yeah so uh, you can like in spell breaking combine different elements mm-hmm. and you start with one and then i guess you get more later on right it's been a while i played the closed beta a while a long yes time so ago. you start the game with a element uh you have frost lightning air earth fire and toxic the toxins mm-hmm. whatever you want to say and they all but everything oh. changed when the fire nation attacks no when fire the is pretty trash attack. anywho um <laughs> i need the poll there it is uh and a lot of them have combinations with each other like for example because i play earth there's really not a good like a lot of combinations that work well with me excluding fire um the rest of them kind of don't do much but let's take um toxic and fire toxic fire if you throw out a toxic bubble which it will be your q and you light it on fire with the basic fire attack it explodes yeah, it's fucking insane. You can, like one of the cool things I did, I think you said wind was an element, right? What's up? You might cut out. Oh, is wind's an element, right? Yes, air. Because I remember being able to make tornadoes with wind, and then just like you throw in toxic or you throw in fire, ice, and you make a a storm, pretty much different kind of tor- yeah. Yeah, it's it it's some cool combos. Nice, um, That's cool. Right? It it gets very crazy. Oh, <gasps> hermit crab, come here! I need give me the hermit crab. Where is my <laughs> how, how much is how much is spell break? So spell break currently is closed beta. You can only get in by signing up on the website they'll eventually send you some because with the quarantine they're actually giving codes out at a faster rate oh yeah. well so would is that free then i guess yes for now for now it's free i did hear they were going to put a price tag on it there are founder edition packs that um will give you immediate access plus um give you in game cosmetic but my recommendation is do not do it do not. You want to spend sixty bucks on that game for in-game cosmetic and immediate access, or do you want to wait two weeks? Give it a hard thonk, real quick. Yeah, heard. True. Cool. They don't pay me. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh. Andres, I think you were gonna say Ori in the Blind Forest. I did. Well, actually, Ori in the Blind Forest is the first game, but um, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which came out on the eleventh of March uh is the sequel to a critically acclaimed masterpiece yeah embark on a new journey in a vast exotic world where you will encounter towering enemies and challenging puzzles on your quest to unravel our um so it's a metroidvania it's beautiful (laughs) has a great soundtrack and um action cool action (laughs) great Uh, don't forget (laughs) action (laughs) <laughs> wow wow waxion wax on wax off uh so yeah we're in the will of the wisps i will definitely pick that up at some point um where can where first... can you get it how much is it uh so it was developed by moon studios who made the first one obviously publisher xbox game studios this time i don't know if that considered like it's definitely double a our definition of double a because the first one mm. was indie uh, but you can get it on Steam. You can get it on Windows 10, they say, and Xbox. For how much? Uh, 30 bucks currently. Cool. Yas. Cool, cool. Uh, Cam, did you say one? I cannot remember. Uh, Do you remember? Yeah, a game I was checking out. So I kind of like those uh, arena battle style games a lot. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, something similar. It's the team based one that's going to be released on the 24th of March. It's called Bleeding Edge, developed by Ninja Theory. Um, it just looks really cool. Like it's talking about like some combinations you can do with your teammates, and it's just like I don't know what the style is. It's four on four or five on five, but you like pick a class, a, a character. It's like kind of like how Overwatch is. You have a character, and then you uh just fight each other. So mm. I, want, I kind of want to watch it and see how it does and see if it's worth picking up. Cool. I'll keep an eye out for that. And mm-hmm. my game that I was going to recommend, because I don't, I don't think we've talked about this surprisingly, is Nidhogg. Oh, what do you mean? Wait, I have think... We, what do you mean? Have we talked about that? About the Nidhogg? The about game? Nidhogg, yes. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've definitely brought it up once or twice before, but I know that they came out with a sequel. They came out with a sequel. I don't think... I, I feel like we have just haven't gone into super depth about well, it go for it um it's an epic award-winning fencing <laughs> tug of war Yay. it's full of graceful acrobatics and clumsy stabs irl yelling and excitement may occur in this ultimate two-player showdown of fast-paced fencing and melee attacks definitely recommend playing that like tournament style with everyone around mm. yeah that's oh. a fun game with people um it's like 10 bucks on steam and probably some other places. Nice. Um, have you ever played the second one, Kenny? I have not, actually. I haven't yet. It's changed in art style, but I hear it's I, still pretty good. Yeah, the, the change in art style like <clears throat> kind of threw me, and I wasn't like super crazy, but it's 15 bucks. It's still really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, yeah, the art style is just like way more goofy, I think. We should yeah, well, like carnation. You have it. We should park Yeah, it's very claymation, time. and like as opposed to the first one, which is very just like eight bit style, which I kind of liked more. Mm-hmm. But you know, that's very subjective. Eight bits of style. <laughs> but yeah, super super fun game. That's my recommendation. We'll nice. have more recommendations as this you know thing continues to pass. Maybe we'll update some on our Twitter. Um. Yeah, but, guys, yeah. if you, um, it, listeners, if you have any suggestions for great games um, that you can play, that we can play tweet during us. our quarantine, tweet us. Tweet us. Twitter the QWERTY birdies. Um, and what was that Twitter, Kenny? Uh, QWERTY cast. <laughs> <laughs> We're at QWERTY underscore cast. <laughs> How dare, you, how dare you embarrass me on my own podcast? <laughs> I definitely didn't look that up while you were failing, so. <laughs> yes, we are at QWERTY underscore cast. Being chased by Wasp, so, help! <gasps> how do I go if you're away? being chased I'm by Wasp, away. add us at away. QWERTY <laughs> underscore cast. Leave me lo- Enjoy your new look, kid. <laughs> Leave me alone, heathens. Ah, oh, fuck! And that's all we have <sighs> for today, guys. Thank you for listening. I mean, if you listen to us over two days, this is all we have for this session. And thank you for so not more. listening if you didn't. Yes, we really <laughs> appreciate it. But you should. But yeah, you should, and you should continue listening. Uh, you can uh, uh, find us on Discord, Twitter, and Patreon at QWERTYCAST or QWERTY, uh, QWERTY underscore cast on Twitter. Um, thank you to our audio mixer and musical master Gary for carrying us through with all his audio magic uh, and if you want to email us we're at cordycastmail at gmail.com do you guys have anything else that you want to include? I mean stay safe. Yeah, wash your stay damn safe. hands wash your damn <laughs> fucking hands you damn dirty uh, human beings support your local businesses Support, yes. yeah, and support us because you know we're all kind of doing we're, a lot of us don't have stuff happening. Exactly. Yeah, when stuff, I don't have a when job. When the shit hit the fans, everyone looked to artists. We yeah. have to support our artists. We have to support people who are making things by hand and trying to survive. And, and we're going to live stream more, so check us out yeah, on Twitch. We have a Twitch now. You can yes. pretty much find us almost anywhere as QWERTYCAST or with two colons in front. And what is our what is our Twitch, Andreas? QWERTYCAST oh, yeah, uh, podcast. Exactly. Sorry, I'm staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> well there you go. Quidcast. Twitch.tv. Oh. 
No, Cordy cast out. Oh, okay. Cordy cast Cordy out. Cordy cast out. Like we practice, guys. Where did you guys? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>